Okay guys, so we just came down the road from Greensburg and we are in Mullenville. And we're gonna stop and look at this uh, metal art done by M.T. Liggett, right? Yeah. And uh, it's really pretty neat. It's all different designs and everything. Unfortunately, he passed away last year in August. Um, so we're just gonna go walk around and look at it. It looks pretty neat. You know, it's not for everybody, maybe, but I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, and Barb from The Old Farmer's Wife, she told me that because he's now passed away and this has been such a big deal out here that it's becoming quite popular. And it's pretty interesting. We're going to go ahead and take a look and we'll show you a few things. So let's go. Let's check it out. Yeah. Creepy. Ooh, look at, uh, there's a little blue propane tank down there. That sure wouldn't last us very long. You see it, Scotty? I do. <laughs> I like the windows on the front of that thing. Uh, yeah. Five windows and you probably opened four of them. Uh, probably all open. Uh, that was yeah. pretty neat. It's a shame it just went to waste. Yep. Well, it looks like there's a ton of stuff left in those garages back there. Well, pretty interesting. Certainly not something I totally understand, but I think it's I think it's all in the mind of the artist. Art is art, and yeah. so you see what you want to see out of it. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty neat. Yeah, I saw the political stuff in it, but I I more saw the art part of it. This guy just had a wild imagination. There's so much to see here that it just takes you a minute to take it all in and figure out what it all is talking about, what his thoughts were behind all of it. And I guess, you know, whether you like art, this kind of art or not, it takes it takes an imagination to create things like this. Well, it looks like he collected some street signs as well.
Idaho spud. And of course they've got the Idaho, which is, uh, for a long time people have made kind of jokes about that. Even his little shed back there was decorated. It just seems like so much to take in. And cutting of a lot of metal. There's a lot of work. A lot yeah. of energy put forth to do these kind of things. I mean, I don't quite understand them all. In fact, I don't understand them very minute about what it is probably saying, but I admire the fact that somebody did so much work on this. Yeah, it was obviously something he really enjoyed. Yeah. Definitely a passion. He's got hearts hanging up there. This must have been his Valentine area. Yeah, Scott and I are not real political. We don't really like to get into all of that, but there are kind of some funny things going on. So if you're into all of that, you might get a lot of this. Uh, I just like the artwork itself. Ew, Scotty found a snake. Ooh, he is, he's dead. Does he have a red line on it? I might don't I'm, don't get too close because you know. Does he have a red line around his head? I don't I have Ooh, my sunglasses yeah. on. Look at that. That looks like a warning to you. Is that a snake? Yeah. yeah. He's, He's dead, dead though. Wow. Somebody squoze him. Ooh. Now I'm a little freaked out since we saw that <laughs> little snake. I'm thinking I've heard that the little snakes are the worst. Right. Ooh. Uh, the, the most poisonous? Yeah, the, yeah, they have more poison in them, or they're more, they're dangerous, the babies are. Right. <laughs> so be careful walking through this grass. Yeah, there's just, there's even a lot of uh, things out here. Everybody was kind of a cartoon in his eyes, you know? Yeah, but the tractors, all the tractors out there, they remind me of the movie Cars where, uh, I think it was Maynard and uh, I forget the racer guy's na car's name, but uh, where they went out in the field and tipped over tractors that were cattle. For some reason, I just thought that was funny. The tractors were cattle? I think the tractors were supposed to be cattle, weren't they? <laughs> they were cow tip, tipping, tip, tipping cows, or tip, tipping cow ca tipping. Yeah, <laughs> but they were tractor tipping. Pretty neat. Hope you guys enjoyed it a little bit or whatever. Um, it is different, kind of quirky, but we're in a beautiful place and just wanted to show you some stuff. Don't quite understand all of it, or actually, I probably don't understand 75% of it. But, to each his own.